Meg Richards. Weekdays on News Talk Saga 960. And now, from the Bell Lifestyle Studio, here's my... <laughs> it is, ain't that... <laughs> News Talk, Saga 960, Raw, Mike Richards. Uh, that's a tough life for Kevin, you know, every time I hear that spot. Kevin's not doing well. Kevin needs to have a better sales pitch than that. He sounds a little down, a little grumpy, a little old. Uh, are we grumpy? Well, if you're a Leaf fan, yeah. Yeah, you're a little, a little on edge. You don't like losing the Habs. Ne never do. If you're a Steelhead fan, it just became a whole lot tighter. Uh, but once again, you know, when you look at the OHL, the, the level of play, and now that you're staying with your own conference like this, it's a hard league. Like, it is a tough league. Even if you see a little bit of space between the teams, the reality is sometimes if you don't play your best game, you're probably going to lose, right? If you don't go out there and you don't execute, you're going to lose the game simply because of the talent in that league. Uh, it, is, uh, it was a tough weekend, certainly for the guys. And uh, for Max, he had to wait a while to see if uh, they're going to allow that goal. Uh, they, hey, Max, what, I know. what was going on with that? I, was like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they didn't want to give it to me. Yeah, did you come? Did you go up? Come on, boys. Yeah, That's it's what a I goal. was thinking. Didn't say it. <laughs> you didn't. Good for you, because they rarely go, you know what? Max made a pretty good point. Let's just give him the goal. Yeah. Good goal. <laughs> well, it, it, it was, uh, look, it was a, a tough weekend. But as you know, week in, week out, when you got to play these teams, uh, you've got uh, both Hamilton and, and North Bay, but, you know, Kingston's not that far behind. This is a hard league to win. Yeah, very. We always got to be on our best game to compete and be the best in the league. So we have to bring it every night, which is demanding, but it's what we got to do if we want to win. Now, in this year, and is talking to your teammates, which we, uh, we love doing on Meet the Steelheads, uh, there is a there's a closeness to it, but I always find that, you know, sort of as you start looking at playoffs, you start talking about certain things, that closeness does count. Like, like I think the camaraderie, as much as people say, well, why do they always talk about that? Why do they always talk about that they hang around or they're so close? Like, what does it really matter? I think it does I think it does matter because of things like sort of um the nonverbal communication that goes yeah. on when you're playing, don't you think? I think so. I agree fully with that. We're very, I think we're the closest team I've played on in a while. We're doing something every night, whether it's watching games around the league, watching NHL games. Uh, we're always together. So, so, well, so, yeah, so for, for instance, after this weekend, uh, where you probably didn't get the points that you wanted to get, what are the conversations like? Like, what, what is sort of the breakdown and what do you say? What, what is the team talking about, at, you know, sort of after the weekend? Well, it's just, we, we've been talking about how we could find our, our old game, how we were playing a couple months ago when we were rolling teams over and giving up 15 shots a game. So we were trying to get back to the way we were playing there, find what we were doing different, and then replicate that. So, so you do sort of make a comparison, and I'll, I'll give you an example. Uh, when I first went out to Calgary, they'd made a, a coaching change, and Daryl Sutter came in. And his, yeah. first, his first thing was – because they were allowing like 34 shots on goal or a game or whatever it was. And he said, we're cutting that in half. You know, he, the first, I mean, the goal scoring chances, you can't score if you don't get chances. Do you think yeah. that has changed in the last month and, and changed with your team? Well, I think the closer it gets to playoffs, every team kind of nails down and plays a little bit harder. So scoring chances are harder to come by. But I think if we dial in as a team, then we shouldn't have any problem scoring. Well, because scoring was, was certainly not a problem, but again, you know, it's, it is, it is a team game. And, you know, as I said, you, you, you've got some teams that are sort of uh, up on you. I, I, I see that Kingston, they've, that game is now going to be April the 7th, uh -huh. uh, but that's, they've all, that's also kind of jammed in a little bit because it looks like in the rescheduling, they've also added. So Thursday, April the 7th, it's uh, North Bay on the 9th, it's Kingston at, at, uh, at the Paramount. And then on that following Friday against Oshawa. But, you know, at this point, I don't think the scheduling doesn't make much of a difference because you've seen you've seen these teams so much and only these teams for this yeah. part of the season that, um, uh, as I say to each guy, that, do they get on your nerves yet? Because if it was me and I had to play the teams that often, I just stop liking their faces. <laughs> I can't yeah, say. it's not that hard to dislike someone on the team. <laughs> you play eight times a year, so I'll put it like that. So who's your number one? When, so when Max Dodig looks at the schedule and sees a team coming up, which one makes you grit your teeth the most? Um, 
And you can say it because they're not listening. I wouldn't say I have a specific team. I wouldn't say I have a specific team, but um, Peterborough, maybe Peterborough. Yeah, I was going to say, because I think that probably everyone could have saved Peterborough. Yeah. Those games are always a circus. Like, it doesn't yeah. matter what's going on, where you're at, whether it's there or whether it's here. Why do those games go so nuts? I don't know. I wish I had the answer. <laughs> but it's almost like the two teams seem to like to play those games. It's it's not like it doesn't happen. It happens every time you play. Every time. I know. I know. I don't know. If there's a rivalry, <laughs> I have no clue. Well, well, but it does make a, a difference. And that's why sometimes even selfishly, you know, playoffs, you, you want to see that kind of stuff. But playoffs seems like it's going to be a, a little ways out there. Uh, as, uh, even though I say that the track gets a little shorter when you start getting towards the end of February into March, but there's still some games to play. So if you look at sort of where your, your game is at now, and because you guys have missed so much hockey, because basically missed a year, what do you think about your particular game? Give me something that you like and something that you want to improve on. Um something that I like is the physicality of my game and work ethic and something that I think I need to improve on is creating offense and uh, being better on the defensive side of the puck. But um, yeah, the, yeah, that's my answer. Sorry. Now, now if you're, if you're trying to look at things that you want to improve upon, what is that? Um, Speed. You could always improve on speed. Um, just in general, kind of just creating offense, like making plays in the offensive zone, everything that kind of goes with that. Now, do you think your team, like if you're looking at the strengths of the team and, and look, there, there's no, uh, there's no hiding the fact that you have a big uh, defense, a uh, big decor. I mean, <laughs> these guys are, yeah. are, are, are look like NFL players. So that obviously is huge, but what do you think the biggest difference is in the style of play though? What's the strength? If you, if you're going to the playoffs and you had to give them a calling card that said, this is what we do. What is it? What is it? The steel heads. We do? play hard. We play hard and fast. We give teams no opportunity to do anything. And uh, we're first to pox all over the ice. And well, it, yeah. So do you think necessarily like, uh, it's funny a lot of guys don't talk about this a, a lot but i always think that it's it's really reflective of what you do in practice because yeah. practice is where it all happens and if you don't want to practice hard you don't play hard but from what i hear and, and, and certainly what your coach says you, he feels that you guys do work hard in practice i feel as that we work very hard in practice it's just when we get to the games it, i don't know something doesn't go our way we get one bad bounce and we start getting down i don't know but at the beginning of the year we were able to come down from lead uh deficits going into the third whenever the game was we'd always just keep pushing so i don't think it should be that hard to get back to the our old ways do you have a guy that you lean on a little bit like if you're looking at the team in terms of leadership when things go do get down who who are the guys or the guy that you that that you lean on to pick you up well Two guys that are key voices are uh, Ethan Del Mastro, the captain, uh, and Aiden Pruder. It's kind of like a guy with the C that's not really has a C on his jersey. As one of the older guys in the room, everyone kind of listens to him when he talks. So, yeah, those two but guys. It's great because they're 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 great examples of. Uh, I mean, I think they're 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 also great people too. I mean, it's the one yeah. thing that, that that your team does does very very well. Now. I believe Aiden, though, uh, as a side note, also uh, really, really brags about his ping pong playing. At least he does on this show. I don't know. You should check the rankings. Well, so, so what, what are the rankings? Do we know this week? What are they? You're talking to the guy in first. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. I see what you did there. I see mm-hmm. what you did there. Check check the scoreboard, pal. Is that what you just Yeah. Said? Yeah. <laughs> So, so, th- so maybe when you get down, you, you stand up and go, excuse me, I'll take it from here. Have you seen the rankings? Thank you. Maybe <laughs> this is, maybe this is what, this is what you do. Uh, or crackers, crackers gotta be in- inspiring. Uh, is he, is he not? Is not crackers? Uh, 
you know, like when he takes his shirt off in the in the in the, in the dressing room in between. Parties. I haven't seen that yet. No, I haven't no? seen that yet. No. no, he's been planning on that. He said it's really going to inspire people. I hope so. I want to see that. <laughs> I hope you see that. <laughs> yeah, I, I do too. We're in conversation with Matt Stoning uh, here on News Talk Saga 960. Now, as a kid, so when you when you say a Toronto boy, where's where where what part of the city? Like, what are we talking for you? I'm from Etobicoke, like rural York in Bloor area. Right. So this is this is kind of your own backyard for you then. Yep. Now, as you were progressing as a kid uh, through, like when you're playing minor hockey, so what teams were you on uh, coming up to uh, this? I actually lived in England for three years. I had to move from grade three to grade seven. So I was there playing hockey once a week, once every two weeks, and then that's, came that's back it. and played for the reps. Well, that's it. So where in England did you move? I moved to Chelsea, but I had to play hockey. I think it was like an hour and 40 minutes out of Chelsea or London called yeah. Guildford. That would have been yeah, hard to find yeah. even a, a, an ice pad over in England. That's that's I not know. common. No, there's not many at all. So who's playing? No, were they ex patriots Like, were they other Canadians playing on the rink? Or were you playing with people from England? Uh, playing for people uh, from England. So you're easily the best one. I mean, come on. <laughs> you you uh, better have been the best guy. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of uh, I say there. Hello, you. I see you'll challenge me with that tantalizing stick and everything. Like I, it, 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 now, so so when you come back, is there anything that has followed you? Like, for instance, you follow the Blues? Are you a Chelsea guy football-wise? Is that something I'm you did? I'm a Spurs fan. Oh, it's, oh, that's tough. No, big win on the weekend. Oh, they drive me nuts, Max. I, oh, God, the Spurs drive me nuts. It's Just when so you think good. you're supposed to do something, unless it's Son or Harry Kane when he wants to play, but then sometimes he's hurt, and I'm like, come on, Kane. Oh, uh, the talisman of the Spurs. He's got to come through for these ones. And they always, oh, they, that's tough to do. Maybe you should take that anger. Watch a lot of Spurs games and then go on the ice. I do, I do. <laughs> Maybe a couple more before the games. Yeah, that's what you do. Make you angry. Uh, well, that is that is a very interesting past to have. Yeah. That. And then you play in. And so when you make the, the club, when you make the Steelheads, what's it like for you and your family? Because that's when you think about it, a lot of kids can, you know, at that age, you know, as you're developing hockey, you, there, there's a there's a chunk you miss that other guys that are playing the GTHL. I mean, they they weren't playing over in Guildford. I mean, they were they were you know they were they were playing head to head with guys they probably play with now. So you must have made up some ground somewhere. Do you think? Yeah, when I got back, I wasn't wasn't the best at all. There was a big gap that I had to close, but I guess so, that. Uh, so who do you tri- so who do who do you attribute your your increased play, your better play? Is there a coach? Is there a team? Is there a moment where I'd Max probably Doty... say every one of my coaches from the uh, the reps and the steelheads? It's been nothing but the best. So you probably feel then that you're still probably ca- you, are you still improving? Like you feel that you're still working on that game? I think so. I think yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. It's. I mean, as I said, it doesn't matter what level you get at. You can always be better. And um, you know, certainly, as I said, for the steelheads. You're looking forward to the playoffs, but you got to get out of this thing first. And you, you, you I mean, you want to get home ice, right? I mean, home ice. Yeah. Then you know, yeah. Obviously, you can get fifty percent capacity, so it's nice playing actually in front of your. Family. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we could uh, finish up the rest of the season strong and secure that home ice. That would certainly be nice to see. So, hey, Max, uh, thanks for joining us here this morning. Thanks for having say, me on. Cheerio, mate. I mean, lovely to see you. Keep it going, son. Yeah. Top of the morning. Have a yeah, good one. Top of the morning. Take care, Max. Take care. Thank you. <laughs> that is Max Doting. Uh, join us here this morning. Uh, meet the Steelheads. I didn't know he was. He just spent that time in England. Oh, the Spurs drive me nuts. He should play angrier because if I was a Spurs fan, I'd be angry every day.